guys, it's Shannon and welcome back to my doll channel. So today we are taking a look at brand new Monster High dolls. These are so cool, you guys. This is the brand new Monster Family Collection. It's a whole series of dolls launching. They're going to be coming in these smaller sizes as seen here today. There's also a medium size that's between this size and the normal Monster Hall, <laughs> Monster High doll <laughs> sizes. So I just think that is so cool. I'm really excited about this and I wanted to share it with you. So if you saw the Monster High movie, some of the siblings were shown in the movie and that's kind of what these are and that's just pretty cool. So we're gonna start right here. This is the monster family of Claudine Wolf. So there she is. So I wanted to show you guys this. Right now there are three of the small dolls available, which I have all of them right here. But this says, the Wolf family is packed with siblings all trying to get ready for bed at once. It's total chaos, but also a howling good time. And then right here, it shows some of the different families or some of the different siblings. So we have Claudine Wolf, everybody's familiar with her. We also have Werdeth Wolf, Paula Wolf, and Barker Wolf. And all of these, whoops, sorry, all of these um, boxes are the same on the back. So I will tell you about those families as we get to them. But we're gonna go ahead and open Paula Wolf right now and take a look at her. Here is Paula. So she is so cool, you guys. So this is the first time I've actually held one of these out of the package, and I love the size. So the size of these dolls is very comparable to the Enchantimals, if you're familiar with those. And that's just pretty neat. So let's take a better look at Paula. She has these cute little pigtails up on the top of her head and her hair is so full and curly and awesome. It's brown and then she has these really, really pretty like mint green highlights in her hair. So you can kind of see there. She's also wearing a sleep mask which is super adorable. Now, right now, it is still rubber banded on her head. That's the way it came in the package. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that because I display my dolls and that helps it stay on. But if you wanna play with the dolls, go ahead and take that off and feel free to use it. Now, her face is so pretty, you guys. I love the way they did the little fangs, <laughs> the little canine teeth there and she has freckles. Super, super adorable. Now, her dress is adorable as well. It is the same color green as in her hair, and it has these like little eyes details all over it. See that, like the little wolf eyes? It has this cute little tool trim around the bottom, and I did wanna point out that it does Velcro on the back, so you can remove it and you'll probably be able to mix and match clothes with all of your different smaller dolls. And that's really cool too because she looks similar in size to some other dolls that are on the market, so you might be able to get other clothes. And that's something if you guys wanna see, I'm thinking maybe like Chelsea doll clothes might fit her maybe Bratz clothes. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know and I will hunt for some of those clothes and try it on the dolls and just see how it works. Okay, she also comes with this little yellow bow necklace and the thing I most wanted to point out is her body. They did a, such a cool job. So she has this big bushy tail in the back and then look at her paws or hands. They are so so big, which is exactly what you would expect because she's a wolf. She also has this textured um, look to her skin, which is really neat. And her legs have the same thing. And her feet are pretty big as well. So I'm betting she's gonna stand with those big feet. Let's see. Yep, whoa, no, <laughs> there she goes. Let's see, come on, Paula, you can stand. She's like, no, I don't want to. Okay, so you can put these dolls into a sitting position. Their arms also raise and lower, and you can turn their heads. Okay, are you gonna sit, girl? She's like, no, I don't want to. 
her tail and hair are so big they kind of tip her over. Okay, let's look at the last few little things she comes with. She has some little accessories that are adorable. She has this little like diary or bedtime story. I think it's more like a journal. It has a moon. It has some little claw marks and paws on the back. And that looks like a tongue. <laughs> it has a little clasp right here and you can actually open it. And inside there's a picture of a castle or the Monster High School and then a wolf howling at the moon. That's really, really neat. So she comes with that. She also comes with a pillow. Little purple pillow. And her very favorite teddy bear. <laughs> the teddy bear is so cute, you guys. <laughs> Look at that little tail. So sweet. Okay, so those are some cute accessories. Let's go ahead and open Fangelica next. What do you say? So she's part of the monster family of Draculaura. So it says the kitchen is a fantastic place for Draculaura, or, sorry, for Dracula and his two daughters to bond while whipping up tasty bites from traditional to Drac's favorite vegetarian. So there's Dracula. We are all familiar with Draculaura. And then this is her little sister, fin Fangelica. So let's go ahead and open her up next. Okay, here's Fangelica. <laughs> so I thought that she had like pigtails, but once you get her out of the package, you can see that her hair right here is actually just up in one ponytail and then it just flips over to the two sides. How cute. So she has beautiful purple hair with two black streaks right here. And those streaks are carried all the way through her little ponytails. You can see the black underneath there. So that's really neat. There are her little bat ears sticking out of the top. She has gorgeous face paint as well. I feel like these are done really well. They're really crisp and clear and beautiful. Okay, so her little outfit, she has a full dress, just like um, Paula did. So it is a dress, not a top and skirt. It has this cute aqua green top, and the skirt is purple with little bats all over it. See the little black bat right there? And like little streamers, it kind of looks like, but it's just the little squiggles. It kind of reminds me of a party dress, though. She has her wings in the back and then this little um, pink like fur cuff at the top. It is plastic, but that is removable. Now she comes straight out of the package with this really awesome mixer on her hand. It's like the little hand mixers that you would use for making, you know, mashed potatoes or cakes or whatever. And instead of little beater um, attachments that are like what we're used to, these have claws. So cool. All right, Fangelica's shoes are awesome. They're these little black sandals. They have ankle straps and they look like bats. See the little bat wings coming out of the back? Now the sandals are open in the back so they are easy to take on and off. How cool is she? She's ready to go in the kitchen and whip up some of those yummy tasty treats with her dad and Draculaura, I think. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and sit her down as well. She's like, nope, I'm going to tip over. Okay. What you doing, girl? She's like, nope, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> okay, she comes with this purple mixing bowl. So she can um, put the mixer right in there and cook something delicious. And maybe this is what she was making. This awesome pink monster cake. And it's on a purple stand. That is really, really cute. Okay, last but not least, we are gonna open this one right here. This is Ebby Blue. She's part of the monster family of Laguna Blue. So, 
The Blue family feels at home on any beach and enjoys sharing those go with the flow times playing in the sun and surf together. So here's Laguna Blue, here's Ebby, and then Kelpie Blue is right here. There is a two pack coming out with Laguna and Kelpie. So that is really neat. Be on the lookout for that. But let's go ahead and start with Ebby. So here is Kelpie Blue. You guys, she is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous. So let's just go ahead and start with her skin. <laughs> the other ones I always started with the hair, but look at her face. I hope the camera picks it up, but she has this beautiful pearlescent look over her. Do you see that shimmery look? It is so, so pretty. And her eyes and little freckles are adorable as well. But I just can't get over that like shimmer finish. So, so pretty. Okay, she has two pigtails and they're bouncy and flouncy. <laughs> they are multiple colors. She's got like purple, pink. There's this aqua blue. I mean, it's really amazing how many different colors they packed into her hair. And it just gives it such a vibrant, beautiful look. She comes with glasses because if you're hanging out on the beach all day, you probably want to protect your eyes from the sun. So she has those cute little glasses. Now she just comes with a top and that's pretty cool. It is red and black. It's got little wave wiggle squiggle lines and little bubbles. And it's really cool because it's the only thing on her that color, but it just really makes it stand out. And then here is her tail fin. So this is so cool. I absolutely love it. It's such a unique piece. It's such a unique Monster High doll. Um, it's just such a pretty color blue. She does have this black accent right here that can be removed if you want it to. So Kelpie is really awesome. Let's see if she'll stand. Oh yeah, she stands really good with that tail. Okay, she comes with accessories too. She has a little beach ball. And I'm guessing this is like a little beach float. <laughs> Look at that cute little face it's smiling at us. So it's like a little crab maybe. It's kind of what it reminds me of. Or just a little sea spider. I don't know. If you guys know, you can leave a comment and let me know. This might have been in some um, cartoon spot or something that I haven't seen. So go ahead and let me know if you find that out. But I think that's cool that she has some little beach accessories. Okay, guys. So those are the first three of the Monster High family collection that I have shown on this channel. I am going to be getting the two packs, like the Laguna Blue and Ebby, um, and or sorry, I called her Kelpie. <laughs> <laughs> She's Ebby. Um, I'm going to be getting the pack of Laguna Blue and Kelpie. And I forget, I think the other one might have been Draculara. No, you know what? I think it was Claudine. Anyway, there are two packs coming out. I'm going to be picking those up as well. So be on the lookout for those. If you like the Monster High dolls, please subscribe to the channel so you can see more. But let's go ahead and take a look one last time at these three dolls. I love them, and I'm really interested to know what you guys think of them. So go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Let me know also which one you like the best. I think that's really hard to pick. I kind of love all three of them for different reasons, and I really, really would want to pick Fingelica, but I think Ebby might be my favorite because she's just so bright and vibrant. But what do you guys think? I can't wait to read your comments. Go ahead and leave those now. And like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.